Captain Boldick with you, 2-3 Infantry Physical Therapist. Three things that are highly sought after in today's world. Toilet paper, a good dog, and garage gym equipment. Okay, having your own setup, uh, not having to rely on a fitness center uh, in order to get your workouts in is priceless. Okay, so I've been able to build my garage gym over the course of about five or six years now, and I've learned a lot of things along the way. Uh, so I'm gonna share some of those um, lessons learned with you over the course of about seven or eight videos in this series that I'm gonna provide you. Um, so keeping in mind that I'm a generalist, so what you see here is perfect for me, perfect for a generalist who likes to pull from different disciplines like CrossFit, weightlifting, powerlifting, bodybuilding. Um, and and I, that's how I create my program, um, rather than solely subscribing to one, any one of those particular disciplines independently. Um, so this is perfect for that. Okay, so having said that, uh, let's begin. So let's start with flags. Flags are essential. That is a must to look over at that flag and understand why you're training, why you're sweating, okay? So we're gonna start with that. Secondly, flooring. Uh, super important that your flooring is right, okay? So I mentioned weightlifting before, so if you're somebody who's into Olympic weightlifting and dropping weights from above, you're gonna to wanna to protect the floor, protect your equipment with a, with a good platform, okay? They can be fairly expensive, but you can find videos on uh, YouTube uh, to, to learn how to build your own platform, and that, that can save you money as well. What I have here are simple horse stall mats, three quarter inch uh, horse stall mats. You can get them at Tractor Supply. Uh, they're four foot by six foot dimensions. Uh, very rugged, very durable, have worked really well. Um, they are not interconnected, that's the only problem, but uh, they rarely move, especially if there's a, a rack on them. But, um, but like this one here is independent, so sometimes it'll, it'll kind of slide a little bit if I'm really active on it. So wrestling mat tape has worked really well. That's what you see here. This strip right here I put down about two years ago. Um, barely pulling up anywhere. When you do pull it off the mat, it doesn't leave a sticky residue. So uh, pretty cost-effective solution to that problem. Okay, and uh, next we're gonna talk about the rack. This is the foundation of your gym, okay? So you wanna make sure you get this purchase right. You wanna make sure you do not skimp. You wanna make sure that you're gonna be able to grow into your gym. Um, so uh, what I have here is an RML 690, Rogue makes it. Uh, as you see, there's three uprights on each side. So when I say grow into, what I mean by that is you're gonna, in six months, inevitably see a new attachment that you wanna put on your, your gym in order to uh, expand your options of exercises, like a dip attachment, for example. And if you skimp on this piece and you, and you don't really have a whole lot of uprights to work with, uh, you're not gonna be able to make that purchase and, and expand your gym. So, so really keep that in mind that you want to uh, get this portion of your purchase right. Now, space is a premium, okay? so. Uh, both vertical space and horizontal space. Okay, so you want to keep that in mind. So when you purchase equipment, uh, there should be multiple uses for each piece of equipment. Uh, it should be equipment that you use regularly. Um, but you also want to measure the dimensions of the space that you're going to put the equipment in. You want to make, you want to make sure you know the dimensions of the rack you're going to purchase. Um, tight squeeze here in this basement. Um, garage is the same way. It's going to be a tight squeeze, so you want to make sure that uh, your, your rack is actually going to fit into that space. Um, this, this particular rack doesn't have numbers on it, so one solution I found for that in order to know where to uh, place certain pieces for, for squatting, for incline benching, for example, is this liquid paint that I purchased at Lowe's, Home Depot's, you can probably buy it there too, um, and it's been great, and the stuff doesn't wipe off, you know, like chalk wood, a lot of people use chalk to, um, to be able to indicate where these settings should be, so this has worked out really well. Okay. So, having said that, uh, thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for more.